MUOS has updated to the baked beans version, but there's a couple things you need to know. So the first thing is that your history and your favorites won't work on the new update. So I'll show you how to clear those out really easily. And then when you do the update, just make new favorites and you'll be fine. The second thing is that they fixed the HDMI audio issue, which is awesome. Just make sure that you're on the old refried beans version of MUOS, and then you can update to the baked beans version. This is so easy to do, so here's step one. So the first thing we're gonna do is clear out our old history and favorites. So go down to applications, and then on the bottom you'll see task toolkit. And in here you can clear your favorites and clear your history. So hit A to launch. And then go down to history and hit A to launch. And that's it. The second step is to download MUOS from the website. So you can see this is the baked beans update. Down below you'll see all the updates that they made. But the update that I really like is that they fixed the audio issue with HDMI. Just click the download link to the zip file. Now you have two options where you can put this update in your archive folder. One is you can just put your SD card in the computer and then copy the MUOS update and paste it into your archive folder. The second way you can do it is to connect to your SP remotely by putting in the SP's IP address in a web browser followed by colon 9090. And I'm just gonna click on my SD card, MMC, and then my archive folder. And from here I can upload the update file. And now I have that uploaded to my archive folder and now I'm ready to update. So to install the update, go down to applications and then archive manager. And you can see the baked beans update in here. Just hit A to extract it. So this might take a while, just let it do its thing, and when it's done, make sure to reboot your system. Now that it's done, I can see here that it's installed, so I'm just going to go back to the main menu, and then go up to reboot, and that's it. You're finished. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe.